So now let's see how we can work around with save as options inside of WordPad. So you can see that here I have a document and this is a document that I already saved out. So if I were to go around and let's say, for example, type in a few uh, content right here and go to file and save, it does not prompt me to save the file anymore. But let's say I want to save a different version of the same file. So what I can do is I can go around into file and then I can go to save as and here you can see that I got different formats that I can save the document as. So by default, the rich text format is selected. But if I want to create a copy of the documentation itself, then I can choose rich text document. So once I do that, what happens is that I'm prompted to save the file right here. And here what I can do is I can go around and let's say save another version of the file. So I'm going to say my tutorial document two, and then I'm going to hit the save button. So once I do that, what happens is that I got another document as you can see right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to save as and over here, you can see that I can save it as an open office XML document if I want to work around with that. So here you can see that now uh, the document extension is changed out. You can also go around over here and change this in other document format if you wish. So I'm going to say three for this one and save it out as another document format. And here you can see that the icon is actually changed when I save it in another format. I can also go around right here, save it as open document text, as you can see, so which is in the format of ODT, which is used by OpenOffice and other open source office applications. If I were to go to file and go to save as, I can also save it as a plain text document, as you can see, which does not have any formatting. So here, once I save it as a plain text formatting uh, application, you can see that it says you're about to save the document in text only format, which will remove all the formatting like bold and everything. So do you want to save this as that or not? So I'm just going to say yes. And here you can see that there's the plain document format with a saved around without anything. And it opens up in notepad, as you can see, if I were to open that out with, uh, this, then what happens is that let me just go around and go to new so that there's no content. I'm going to go to open, open this out right here. You can see that it got removed, um, like got all of the formattings removed. I can also go around. I'm just going to go around and drag this in right here so that it opens up. So let me just go around, open this up in this way. So it opens up right here with the formatting. So I'm going to go to file and then if I were to go to save as and go to other formats, then I can access this menu right here. So I can save this as plain text document, text document, MS-DOS format, and Unicode text format, which are different uh, standards of plain text format, which you can use. And that is how you can use the save as option inside of WordPad to save your documents in different formats. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe